Hey guys, I'm the Jedi Master, and I would like to welcome you guys to the second episode of Uncovering Star Wars Lore. Now, I know this one's a lot different than the previous episode, um, mostly in the fact that I am currently on screen right now, and the green screen is going to prove for our images that we will see. It will be behind me. I will have inner cuts where you will see the image full up close. So we're going to talk about the Grey Jedi. So the Grey Jedi actually has changed definition throughout the years. It, it, it has two different uh, meanings that most people attune to. One is that those who walk the line between light and dark or being gray. And then the other meaning that's commonly used is ones that distance themselves from the Jedi Council while still being in touch with the Jedi, such as Qui-Gon Jinn. But a true great Jedi has both. They do both of these things. They distance themselves from the Council and they walk the, li the line between dark and light. The reason that they do this is they understand that the Force has to be balanced which is a mixture of light and a mixture of dark. And when you interwind those and you use them for certain things to make life and the universe and the force better. The earliest chronological example would be Jolie Bindo from Star Wars, The Knights of the Republic. He was a great Jedi because he had fallen in love with a woman and she had taught him that um, not all emotions are bad to pursue. In fact, quite a few emotions are actually very good to pursue. Another great Jedi would be Mitra Surik from Star Wars Knights of Republic 2. The Exile, as she's commonly known, was exiled out of the Jedi Council after the Mandalorian Wars for not doing what the Jedi Council told her to do. She went to war to save a lot of people and ended up losing her connection to the Force. As a result, whenever she reestablished it, she distanced herself a little bit from the Jedi Council, even though her quest was to find them. She learned how to use the dark side of the Force. She had t touched on the dark side of the Force and the light side and it created the mentality that the force is not one way or the other it's a balance the great jedi who would join the jedi council instead of distancing themselves from them would often have a hard time moving up through the ranks or getting any sort of uh status of power in the order uh or the council um, oftentimes they were seen as outcasts, outsiders, uh, the Jedi that you should not try to be, um, and they would often choose more traditionalist Jedi, such as, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, who was a traditionalist Jedi. The first time Grey Jedi was used was with Qui-Gon Jinn, and, um... Those never completely confirmed if he was gray or whatnot, but a lot of people considered him gray because of the fact that he often defiled the council's rules. And even Obi Wan says, if you would just follow what the council says, he we could. It it, it was he very much defiled the council's uh, wishes and commands, um, and it often led to some clash between him and the council, and even him and his Padawan, uh, Obi-Wan. And Qui-Gon often said, don't always trust in the wisdom of the council. And Qui-Gon was considered the first Jedi to be gray in the Star Wars universe um, uh, by the fans. So the gray Jedi code goes like this. There is no dark side, nor light side. There is only the force. I will do what I must to keep the balance. The balance is what keeps me together. There is no good without evil. But evil must never be allowed to flourish. 
There is passion, yet peace. Serenity, yet emotion. Chaos, yet order. I am the wielder of the flame, the protector of balance. I am the holder of the torch, lighting the way. I am the keeper of the flame, soldier of balance. I am the guardian of balance. I am a gray Jedi. The real question asks, do the gray Jedi have the force figured out? Well, yeah, they kind of do. Jedi are too light side. They are, they don't love and emotion. They're taught to be emotionless and not act on love or hate or anything. Never act on the, uh, your emotions that you naturally feel as a human being or as an alien or as a creature. And the Sith are too dark side. They, uh, act on every emotion, any impulse that they have. They act on it. They, 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 they get angry whenever something's not going their way. They lose it whenever their loved ones are attacked. They, they, they are insane with their emotions. They go crazy with them. They go overboard. And that's not what Grey Jedi do. So the answer to the question do Grey Jedi have the Force figured out? And the answer to that is yes. They have the Force figured out. They have learned how to balance the Force inside themselves and have learned the true nature of the Force and are the most powerful Force users that you can ever find. So anyway, that's the video. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I know I am. It took a long time to research this one uh, because I had to figure out a little bit more about the Great Jedi. I knew a little bit about them, um, but it's uh, it's one of those things I don't know much as much about them as I do the Sith or the Jedi. Um, so anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching this video. It took a long time to make, I know. Um, I apologize for that. Uh, hopefully you like the new style. I hope you like it. I have a lot of lighting set up um, and it's heavy and all that. I'm, it's actually very hot in here, <laughs> but hopefully you enjoyed it. So if you did, give it a like. It helps out a lot. And tell a friend today about my Star Wars channel. It's pretty awesome. And may the Force be with you. Always.